This is not a test. This channel has interrupted its regular programming to provide disaster information not being readily reported. Important details will follow this tone. Somalia's Prime Minister says 110 people have died from hunger in the past 48 hours in a single region as a severe drought threatens millions of people across the country. It was the first drought-related death toll announced by Somalia's government since it declared a national disaster on Tuesday. The United Nations estimates that 5 million people in this Horn of Africa nation need aid, amid warnings of a full-blown famine. The death toll announced is from the Bay region in the southwest alone. Somalia was one of four regions singled out by the UN. Secretary General last month in a $4.4 billion aid appeal to avert catastrophic hunger and famine, along with northeast Nigeria, South Sudan and Yemen. Thousands have been streaming into Somalia's capital, Magadishu, in recent days in search of food aid, overwhelming local and international aid agencies. Over 7,000 internally displaced people checked into one feeding center recently. About 363,000 acutely malnourished children need urgent treatment and nutrition support, including 71,000 who are severely malnourished. A massive sewage spill from Mexico's Tijuana River that polluted miles of coastland and shut down beaches in Southern California is under investigation by federal authorities. U.S. Officials have said the spill that caused about 143 million gallons of sewage to leak across the border was deliberate, while Mexican authorities believe it was an accident caused by heavy rain. The pollution closed beaches and kept surfers and swimmers out of the ocean, drawing outrage from residents of the cross-border region who say they weren't told of the leak until weeks later. The tidal wave of raw sewage ran for 18 days and only stopped last week on February 23. The public didn't learn about it until the next day. A spokeswoman at the Tijuana State Public Service Commission said the spill was an accident that resulted from heavy rains collapsing a sewage interceptor in the city. They said they notified the International Boundary and Water Commission. The commission, which is leading the investigation, was notified on February 23 but U.S. Officials believe the spill started at least two weeks earlier and dumped roughly 143 million gallons of sewage into the Pacific Ocean. Contact with raw sewage can cause serious infections and illnesses such as diarrhea. The sewage spill polluted 20 miles of coastland from the areas of Rosarito in Mexico to Coronado in California. Four people have died and one injured in an avalanche at the Shigat Ski Resort in Russia's southern Republic of Cabardino Balcaria. The disaster which could have been triggered by the riders themselves has been caught on camera. The avalanche swept through the northern hill slope of the Shigat Mountain, where skiing is banned, at around 12 local time. Five tourists were buried in the snow, with only one of them being able to escape, the rescue operation has been concluded. The bodies of the four victims were transported to the foothills and handed over to the police. Officials confirmed that a contractor working at Brown's Ferry nuclear plant brought a handgun to the plant on Thursday. The Tennessee Valley Authority heightened security at all three of its nuclear plants due to the incident and armed guards are posted at the entrance of Brown's Ferry. Brown's Ferry was placed under an unusual event, alert status, which is the lowest of for emergency classifications, from 12.30 p.m. until 3 p.m. Thursday. The contractor had his nuclear clearance revoked, was escorted from the plant and is no longer employed. A load of Derringer was discovered by nuclear security and was not on the contractor when it was found. There was no danger to the public and no danger to employees, but, obviously, this is a big thing, having a weapon inside of a nuclear plant is not something that we take lightly. Cleanup of a leak at the Cook nuclear plant located off Lake Michigan, is going on right now. 
The Nuclear Regulatory Commission reports more than 1,000 gallons of sulfuric acid leaked into a containment area. The agency says no acid made it into the environment or nearby drains. Staff found the leak yesterday. They believe a faulty gasket could be the cause. The containment area has a reinforced concrete floor and walls. Finally, in the United Kingdom, streets were heaving with people enjoying their Friday evening when an explosion happened. Panicked people took to social media to tell others about the explosion. One said, Oh my God! We just had a gas explosion go off next to us in Soho, offices and pubs have been evacuated by police who confirmed the explosion was due to gas. Archer Street and Rupert Street have a large police presence. Transport for London said the area had been closed off as part of a major emergency services incident. Another Twitter user, named Jake, wrote, There has been an explosion in Soho and the road next to my house, everything is cornered off. Fire trucks and police everywhere. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this to be interesting, please like, share, and subscribe. While at it, post your thoughts on this and whatever else is on your mind below. If you like the social media thing, you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description. Have a great day guys. Stay safe. This concludes this report of the emergency alert system. All normal programming operations may now resume.